Today, I am so excited to be finally sharing with you all of the work that I had done on the outside of my home. I am very excited about this video. It has been a long time coming ever since I started my YouTube channel and have been documenting my home renovation journey. This was the project that I was just the most excited to share with you guys, especially if you are thinking about doing something like this on your own home. This is a huge project. I have learned so much along the way. And of course, I always hope that my experiences can inspire you and help you to make great decisions for your own home and your own family. So let's go ahead and get into what the project is. This project was replacing all of the siding on my home. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. I'm not gonna make this super chatty, but I wanna give you a little bit of backstory so you guys know what made me choose replacing all of the siding on my home. But before we continue with this video, I did wanna let you guys know that this video is in collaboration with my friend Heather here on YouTube. Her channel is called Homemaking with Heather. She has her own home renovation project. She's sharing with you guys today lots of befores and afters of her brand new beautiful kitchen. I love her style, it is so cute, and I love every choice that she made in this kitchen. It looks so amazing, so definitely go and check her out, watch her video, subscribe to her channel, and let her know that I sent you. And if you are here from Heather's channel, welcome, I am so happy to have have you let's keep going I bought this home last year I have lived in this home for almost a year it will be a year next month and when I picked this home and I closed on it and everything I already knew from the inspection that there was a lot of rot on the siding already so my home was built in 1980 it had original cedar siding I'm gonna insert lots of clips and pictures here so you guys can see all of what it looked like beforehand and some of the damage that was on there beforehand but with wood siding of any kind, especially if it's up higher, you can't really see the extent of the damage. And at first I thought when I bought the house that I was going to go the route of repairing. So they would cut out individual boards and splice in new ones and just replace the parts that were rotten. Um, the more you kind of looked at the home, the more I realized how much rot there was. And so of course, the more you have to repair and replace, the more the cost goes up. So in my mind, if I was going to spend so much money on repairing and replacing parts of the siding, then it was going to be smarter to just go ahead and replace all of it. And let me tell you why. So most of the time when you do a repair on your home, that's not going to be money you're going to get back. Um, there's no way that if I repaired the siding and let's say I put $2,000 into it or $3,000 into it that I would have ever gotten that money back when I sold the house. So there is no way that I could up my price when I sell this house because I repaired something that was damaged. So with the vinyl siding, that comes with a whole other set of bonuses. So with vinyl siding, the pros to that would be that it's low maintenance, it doesn't rot, all you have to do is power wash it, it's more insulated, peace of mind, all of those different things, and you will get money back for that when you do sell the house. That's part of the equity in your home. But that was my decision. And part of my reason for wanting to do that as well was there were no gutters on this home to begin with, as I'm sure you could see in some of those clips that I just showed you. There were no gutters and so a lot of times that's why um, the house will rot if it has wood siding just because there's no way for the water to flow away from the home. That can also be really bad for your foundation too. So a lot of decisions or a lot of reasons led me to that ultimate decision. Then it came time to deciding, you know, who I was going to have do the job. So I got a bunch of quotes and things like that and I'm sure as many of you are probably thinking, ultimately it would come down to the cost and that's absolutely right. There are several different ways that you can go with paying for a project like this. Um, if you have the money to just pay for the project in cash, that's great, write a check. Um, you can also get a personal loan through your bank. Um, there's multiple ways to do it like that. But the route that I decided to go that a lot of companies do offer is with financing. So sometimes they have interest financing plans where you can pay a small amount of interest over a really long period of time to slowly pay off you know, the cost of your project. The company that I went with offered a zero APR for financing. So 24 months, no interest. And that is the route that I wanted to go. I did not want to pay any interest on the project because I didn't want to pay any more than I was already spending, especially because 
there was a good chance I would not get that interest back later. So didn't want to spend the extra money and worked it out so that I could have it paid off in 24 months. So I definitely encourage you if you are looking for contractors and you're looking for somebody to do a project who ask about financing. And if you can't get financing through a company that you really want to use, there are lots of other options for financing through other companies. When I first decided to do this project, I thought, gosh, I'm never gonna be able to afford that. I mean, these projects are really big and expensive, and I think you just kinda have to um, explore all those options. Don't automatically write something off as you can't do it. Take that time to do your research and figure out how you can try to make it happen. So when I finally picked my contracting company and they came out and we talked about what kind of siding that I wanted. I got to drive around to a bunch of different homes to check out some of the different sizes and colors and that was super fun because when you are getting something brand new, you do get to customize it a little bit. There were some things that I could have done that would have made the project more expensive. So again, that's another great way to save money. All right, so now let's get into the process. So after I had chosen the style and the color that I wanted and everything like that, they were ready to start their work. So um, I will insert a few pictures of kind of how things started on day one. I was expecting things to go pretty smoothly and you always, and I should have said this from the beginning, you always wanna make sure when you take on a project like this that you leave yourself room in your budget for something to go wrong, something to happen, an unexpected thing to come up. And I say that because it happened to me twice in this project. One, I kind of expected because of how much rot was in the back of my house, specifically on my deck line. I was really expecting to have to do some repair to either the foundation or the framing, but there was a very interesting surprise that we found on like day one when they first started to take off the siding. I will insert some pictures so you can see here, there was no sheathing under my siding. So there is supposed to be some type of sheathing between your insulation and your framing and then the actual siding and they started to take it off and there was nothing under there. So that meant additional cost to put sheathing on the entire house before they put the siding on. I was not expecting this at all and it definitely was a big hit to the budget. So I would definitely encourage you to make sure that you give yourself some wiggle room, maybe even more than the you actually need because it is better to spend less money than you were expecting than to spend way more. And that is something that I am learning from personal experience and that is a big tip for you if you are thinking about doing a big project. So once we figured out the fiasco with the sheathing and everything, the rest of the project went pretty smoothly. They were able to put the sheathing up on the outside of the house. Then they were able to put up the siding. I got all new trim. I love that I went with white trim. It just really makes the rest of the siding pop super nicely. And then the trickiest part was the deck line. So you will see in some of these clips that they actually had to cut back about a foot of decking from where the deck was up against the house. And that is for two reasons. One, there was a ton of rot. Um, in the board that was basically like the framing of my house and it was a weight bearing wall So they had to replace one of those boards in there And you know, I knew that that was probably likely to happen And then they also had to make sure that they ran the siding all the way down and there was no way to get to that without cutting some of the deck back and Totally fine at some point. I would really love to finish up the deck and redo the screen and porch and everything It's not gonna be something that I'm gonna be able to do for a while But I had no problem with them cutting that deck back because I knew I was going to get rid of it at some point This made it way easier for them to get to all the places They needed to put on siding and it helped them to take care of the rot situation, which I really appreciated and then they were able to finish all that up pretty quickly. Now the part of the house that is the most different is the part that all my neighbors have said that they noticed the most. Um, my chimney used to have a metal pipe that was coming out of the top and it was just metal and it was kind of like an eyesore. It had rusted out and it was really ugly. And what they were able to do is extend the chimney box and build it all the way up to cover that metal pipe which was amazing because it made all the ugliness go away. It looks so much more clean. I absolutely love how the side of the house looks. The side of my house is by far my favorite because of all of the cool roof lines and the pitches and things like that. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. 
and then they are going to be capping it and everything probably here very, very soon. I'm expecting the chimney company to come out and take care of that. So then it's going to be finished. And then the last thing that I am waiting on is the shutters. The, those probably will not come in until July, but I will insert a picture of what they are going to look like here so you guys can see which ones I chose. I did decide to go with a board and batten style. If you guys had not heard of that style before, it is pretty um, common on Cape Cods, farmhouses, ranches, and things like that. So there are lots of different styles of shutters. And then I recently had the gutters installed as well, and that was just the final piece. It really made everything come together so nicely. And since then, I've been able to plant a few flowers and things like that to really spruce up the front of the house. We installed new light fixtures. I absolutely love how this turned out. Not only does it look amazing, but honestly, I feel like I sleep so much better at night. And that was half the reason for doing this in the first place was that I don't have to worry anymore about water or bugs or anything getting in. Everything is watertight and completely sealed. And I feel so much better. I'm really hoping that I noticed the biggest difference in the winter with my energy bill because it is better insulated that hopefully it will help to keep the house a little bit warmer in the winter time. But that is gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys for letting me share this with you and share my photos. I am so excited about this project. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I would love to answer your questions if I can help you. I feel like sometimes the best way to learn about a project is by asking someone who has had it done and sharing my trials and tribulations of this whole project hopefully kind of helped you and I would be happy to help you with any other questions that you have. So definitely make sure you leave me a question down below if you have one. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I will have lots more home renovation videos coming out in the next several months as I continue to finish up my home. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.